Hey everybody, it's the Mad Mystical Monk. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm reviewing two books today. One I didn't even really get like 25 pages in, and I'm like, this was complete trash. So uh, let's get this started, shall we? I tried to read it, The Shape of Water by Guillermo del Toro, and it was awful. I loved the strange trilogy that him and Chuck Hogan made together, but this book, I could not get into it. It's like jumping around like a jackrabbit or a, a jaboa down in the desert. It's just, just complete. Uh, just hard to get into. I mean, it just jumps from one character to another way too quick. There's no real content as in between the characters. Um, I know there's probably certain people that love this book. I completely hated it. I would not even see the movie. That's how bad this book was. I give this zero stars because it's not even worth me rating it on Goodreads. And then I did the Star Wars Imperial Handbook. This book was funny. Um, for anyone who's really into the Star Wars war universe, um, there's copyrighted images and stuff. It's a good book. Um, a lot of people are like mad that George Lucas sold his franchise over to Disney. I'm actually kind of glad he did because if he hadn't done that, George Lucas had no intention of making any more movies. So, one plus for Disney and the, their labor practices are like negative 5,000. So, I lived in Florida. I know Disney sucks. It's not even a good place to go to. It's like hell. You wait in line for eternity and you don't get anything in reward. I did do this picture. I feel so special. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a lizard man with horns. Yeah, I do that. Oh. I have been read. I did read Kierkegaard. Soren, I think it's Soren Kierkegaard in like 90 minutes. I've been reading a lot of philosophy, like the feminine mystique. I read Macat's review of Niccolo Machiavelli's The Prince, which, being who's in office in just about every country now, autocrats. The sake of power for the sake of power, I guess. Um, a lot of the philosophy kind of messes my head a little bit because I guess that's what philosophy does. It makes you think, which is something very few people do nowadays, I guess. You just have to watch Fox News, to not Fox News or CNN to prove that one, right? You're either far right or far left. There's no in between. Hashtag centrist. So please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. I'm not even really been. I've been like really busy with crazy things. Don't forget to dance in the madness of life. <laughs>